summertime and the bluefish are standing. Almost every minute wedding fisherman I know has a recipe for smoked bluefish. Here's mine. My bluefish smoking process is basically three steps. First is brining, the second is drying, and the third is smoking. And the brining is important because that's what puts moisture in your fish uh, and it keeps it from drying out too bad when you smoke it. So I've got my pretty little bluefish fillets here. You can see I haven't done anything on the back of them. All I've done is just cleaned them and patted them dry with a paper towel. Uh, and now they're ready to go in my brine. So to make my brine, I'm just gonna put enough water in a glass bowl uh, to cover all of my fillets. And then I'm gonna add about three quarters of a cup of kosher salt. Looks about right. Three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. And because it's Maryland, lots of Old Bay. Maybe a little lemon zest. You don't want to use lemon juice because it will burn your fish. It actually cooks the fish. You can put a little zest in there. Maybe some black pepper. And then stir it up. Mm, and it's delicious. I'm gonna cover all my fillets and then cover my bowl and put it in the refrigerator. It needs to set for three or four hours, but it's better if it sets overnight. You can't brine it too long. Even if you leave it for two or three days, it'll be fine. The longer you leave the fish in the brine, though, the saltier it's going to get. It's already going to be salty anyway because of the next step, which is the drying process. The next step in the three-step bluefish smoking process is to dry your fish. Now, I've left my fish in the brine for about five hours now, and I patted it dry with a paper towel, and I'm ready to put it on a drying rack, which is just a wire rack with, some, uh, with a cookie sheet. But just make sure that you put it skin side down and then salt it. Now you can't add too much salt because we're going to leave these out at room temperature for at least three hours, maybe four hours. What's going to happen is that salt is going to pull the moisture out of that fish uh, and that's going to make it nice and dry and uh, it'll leave a kind of a coating on the top of it. We call that a pellicle and that allows the smoke to adhere to the fish a lot better. Uh, so you can't add too much salt. And I'm even going to spice it up a little bit uh, here by uh, adding some chipotle salt. I got this at a local gourmet store. And uh, let's add a little bit of, uh, let's add a little bit of spice here. Now if you're worried about leaving this out, you can dry it in the refrigerator, but it will take a little bit longer to dry in the refrigerator. Better just to let it sit out. Uh, now since it's going to be a while, this will be a good chance to start soaking your wood chips. I'm using hickory chips. You can use apple wood, whatever you have. Uh, and just cover them with water. What you're doing is just uh, saturating those chips so that when we put them on the grill later or in the smoker, they won't burn up. They'll just smoke and not burn. So now we come to the third and final step of our smoking process. We've brined our bluefish and we've dried it for four hours and now we're ready to start smoking. And if you have a smoker, this is real easy. You can just put it on your smoker and, uh, and let it go. Uh, but if you don't, you can still do it on a regular charcoal grill. No matter what kind of charcoal grill you have, whether it's a Weber type or just a, a regular grate type, you can still smoke your bluefish. And the way to do it is by putting your coals on one side of the grill, that's your hot side, and then putting your wood chips over your coals, because that's what's going to create the smoke, and then putting the fish fillets on the other side. And the only thing you have to do is just set them down on the grill. You don't have to worry about putting any oil on them or anything like that because as they smoke, they're going to dry and they're not going to stick to the grill. So this is going to be pretty low heat over here. Maybe 100, 150 degrees at the most. So there's not a lot of heat there, but this smoke is going to pull over this way and, uh, and give all that flavor to the bluefish. Now at this point, you can season your fillets just about any way you want to. Some people like to add some Old Bay or maybe some more salt and pepper or something, but uh, what I like to do 
is add a little bit of maple syrup and red pepper flakes. Now the key from this point forward is patience. Since this side of the grill isn't very hot, it's going to take a long time to smoke these fillets. So we're just going to close it up and forget about it for a little while and let that smoke do its work. So we're about an hour into our smoking process and let's raise the grill and see what's going on. Oh yeah. So those fillets are actually cooked at this moment, but we don't want cooked bluefish, we want smoked bluefish. But they're still looking pretty good. You can see that they've got a really nice pellicle on there. It's a really nice coating. And all we have to do is just wait and let them get darker and smokier and more and more delicious. Two and a half hours in, the smoke is rolling and look at those bluefish fillets. Three and a half hours in and we're ready to take our bluefish off the smoker. And gosh, don't they look good. All right, so now we're ready to try our smoked bluefish. You can use smoked bluefish just like you would smoked salmon or any other kind of smoked fish. It's really delicious in pasta or mixed with cream cheese and chives for a dip. Or you can put it on bagels or toast. Or you can do what I'm gonna do right now and just eat it like it is. Now you don't wanna eat the skin, so you're gonna to have to take that meat off the skin. And look at that, look at that moist, delicious bluefish. It's got that really rich smoked flavor, except it's also sweet and salty at the same time. Folks, that is bluefish candy.